Hi everyone, my name is Becca and welcome or welcome back to my channel if this is your first time being here. In today's video, we are going to be doing my finale for round eight of the Roulette Pan collab. So if you like project panning, if you like using what you own content, makeup tutorials, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you check me out on Instagram. I will make sure to pop a picture of my Instagram here on the screen as well as my username so that you can find me easily. And let's jump into this finale. All right, so Roulette Pan Collab was actually created by Alexi and Rebecca Morgan. I will make sure to link both of their channels down in the description box in case you are interested in checking them out. I cannot believe that it is already the finale of round eight. These four months went by so, so fast. I'm not really gonna go over what exactly Roulette Pan Collab is in this video as this is the finale and if you would like to know more information about it, you can check my introduction. Oh, hello, Mittens, how you doing? bite me that's so rude she just wants to be here apparently <laughs> um so I'm sorry about the tail mittens I'm trying to film here excuse me yep just lick your butt that's fine mm-hmm uh -huh. So uh, let's jump into the uh, six items that I have in this project that I've been working on for the last month and I will show you my progress, what I've been able to do, and if I met my goals or not. So it, mm. The first item comes from category 19. Now category 19 was something that I was close to using up or something that I was forgetting to reach for. So for this category, I chose my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 05 Ivory. I rolled this in during update number two, and so update number at update number three, I had used this 34 times, and between last update and now, I actually used this additional three times, and I was able to completely finish this. So during the lifespan of this project, this was used 37 times, and it is empty. Now, I didn't take the stopper out, that's just, well, okay, number one, I have never had success trying to take a stopper out. I don't think I'm that skilled as a human to be able to do that. And number two, that's, I just, I'm not that much of a, like, panner, if that makes sense. Like, I do enjoy project panning. I do a lot of them on my channel, but I'm not a take the stopper out, cut the top off kind of panner, especially when I do have a lot of products in my collection I want to use. And I got essentially most of this out of this container. I just didn't feel the need to try to take the stopper out. So I finished this, my goal was to finish it, and I did it. So I'm really excited about that. Next we have category number 16, and this was a product that is out of season. So for this product, I actually chose the ABH Moonchild Glow Kit. This was an item that was also rolled in during um, update number two, and my goal was to hit 20 uses on this product while it was in this project. So between update number two and update number three, I used it 15 times and I just kind of felt a little bit shy of that 20 uses. And then between update number three and the finale, so now, I used this product an additional nine times. So I ended up using this product 24 times, which surpassed my goal of 20. So I was really excited about that. But this is what the item is looking like now. Not a ton of progress, definitely didn't hit pan and everything, but you can see some of these shades are starting to look a little bit more textured. There's some more usage happening. I like this formula a lot. I think it's really good and I'm really excited that I was able to get some more use out of something that doesn't necessarily get a lot of use in my collection. Next comes from category number two, which is a product that reminds me of my favorite season. Now for this product, I chose the Sigma Untamed palette, and I chose it because it reminds me of fall, and fall is my favorite season. So this was just a usage goal because I rolled this in during update number three and I knew I was close to the finale. So I set myself a usage goal of 10 uses and I was able to use this palette eight times. So I didn't quite get to that 10 uses, but I got really close. Honestly though, the most use I got was out of the black shade here. It was really these three shades. So Spirit, Docile, and Wicked were my most used shades during those eight uses. Um, I did a lot of liner with Wicked, I set my lid with Docile, and a Spirit I used a lot as an inner corner highlight, so I'm definitely going to need to dip back into this palette to use some of these other shades, but I just, I don't know, I wasn't feeling them, maybe it's the time of year, I'm not totally sure, they just weren't calling my name when I wanted to do my eyeshadow, so 
they didn't get a lot of love, but hopefully in the future they will, and maybe I'll even be able to roll this into another project and get some more use out of it. Next item comes from category number 45, and this is a product that you have multiples of the same type or the same color. And for this product, I chose the Elf Bite Size Duo in the shade Lychee, mostly because I have a lot of blush in my collection and I like to rotate through them, and I thought this would be like a really good opportunity to do that. So I set myself a goal of 15 uses, and this is an item that I rolled in last time, so I wanted to make it realistic for the time spend that I had left in this project. And I was able to use this 11 times, so I didn't quite hit that goal. But 11 uses in a month for one blush for me was really good. So this is what the product is looking like. You can see that there's some texture happening um, in this blush right here. And I didn't really use the highlight because it's way too dark for my skin tone. But I did use it as a blush topper a couple of times. Um, but this is really where most of the usage came from, most of those 11 uses. So really like this. I like the formula. I think my one complaint would be that this um, pan size is kind of small and it's hard to get my brush in the pan to get it fully coated. But these are really pigmented and I learned I have to go in with a light hand when I'm using it. So it's okay maybe that it's not totally coated on all of the brush. All right, next item comes from category number 86. And this is the most expensive lip product that you own. So for this, I of course chose the Becca lipstick in the shade Mocha. This is the most expensive lip product that I own by far. So there really wasn't a lot of competition <laughs> and I didn't really have a choice. I set myself a goal to use this 10 times. I was able to use this product nine times. I will flash a picture of the like measurements on the screen for you to see. But this is what that product looks like. This is the color. It's just a really, really pretty brownish red toned color. I really love this product. The Becca lipstick formula is so freaking good and I'm glad I was able to get some more use out of it. It didn't necessarily like decrease a lot um, with only nine uses, but I still think that was way more uses than I would have gotten from it outside of this project, so I'm pretty excited about it. Also, I forgot, I rolled this in last time as well, which is why my usage goal was so low. And lastly, for category 60, it was something black, whether that be product or packaging, and I chose my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is the Universal Sheer, this is the original one. And I have a lot of love happening in this, <laughs> in this product. It was already, I had already hit pan, I already had a lot of usage in it, but my goal was to hit side pan um, in the month that it was in this project. And I was able to do that and I'm so excited about that. So this is what my product is looking like right now. As you can see, I was able to hit side pan right there and it is a very well loved product. I have no doubts that this will be an empty here within the next couple of months, and I'm really excited about that. I love this. I actually already repurchased it, and it's in my backup drawer right now. I think this is such a good product. If you're looking for a really nice pore-filling primer, I put this in my T-zone almost every time I do my makeup, and I, I like it. I think it lasts really well, and it doesn't mess up my foundations or my concealers or anything like that. It does a really great job. So those are all six products that I had for the last month. I was able to hit my goal on half of them, so three out of the six, which I'm pretty excited about considering the fact that most of them have only been in since last month. I've been loving this project so much and I'm really sad to see it end and I know that they're going to be taking a break for a couple months before they re-up, you know, for round nine. So I will be on the lookout for that and I haven't totally decided if I'm gonna join round nine or not. It kind of depends on where I'm at in my panning process with all of my projects that I'm doing and I do because I don't want to overwhelm myself with too much but I may do it and just do less products so that I can be a little bit more realistic but yeah that is everything for this video I hope that you guys enjoyed watching my journey through round eight of the roulette pan collab project don't forget to check out Rebecca and Alexi I linked them both in the description box in case you are interested in doing that and thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!